people are finally figuring out that they don't want to take bullshit anymore, basically. And I think employers should take notes of, it's not why you should hire me, it's why should we stay with you as a company? Okay, that's, that's not what the, that's not the sign that we need them now. I'm here to talk about why I resigned from my job. I am part of the great resignation of 2021. I am a nurse practitioner, specifically a pediatric nurse practitioner. So I work with children um, ages from newborns to 21, 25, I think depending on the state. Yes, if you were in your early 20s, you were considered a late adolescent because your frontal lobe has not fully developed. That is the part of your brain that makes good decisions, that realizes that like your actions have consequences, that's able to plan further ahead, etc. I wish someone told me this when I was in my 20s. Six years, I was in a private practice doing primary care. So, you know, vaccinations, well checkups, the colds, mild sicknesses, and I'd check out rashes, etc. Every day I would see patients and sometimes being in practice in New York City, there would be some days I saw like 40, 50 patients in one day. It's crazy. I learned to be like, I think efficient, fast, good. I got really comfortable at my job. I got built relationships i really enjoyed some of my patients i love i love the, the way why i chose pediatrics because i love seeing progress and development and potential fulfilled so sometimes i feel like that's what you get when you watch a baby grow up and you just see how they like bloom and what kind of person they'll be and their personalities it's the best part and it is the sole reason I may not have left my job. It was one of the things that kept me there as long as it did. In June, June sort of like my deadline. It's like this looming date that's like, oh, so what do you want to do? Are you going to stay there another year? Because that's the anniversary of when I started. Usually when I renew a contract or whatever, like June, February, it was like in my head, like, oh, like, what am I going to do? Like June's coming up. It took me about three weeks from like most of March, delivering, thinking, d d being hesitant, indecisive, etc. being so nervous. I typed up a resignation letter and held on to it for like two weeks. Probably was always on this trajectory of leaving. Like I knew it even before I finished getting my degree. Stay thinking maybe I would change my mind, but I did not. Quitting and leaving was always coming. What I did not know that I would do was that I would quit and have no backup. I would have no other job lined up. I have no other source of income. I did sort of, I think, what most people would not do, or especially as a child of immigrants, like willingly quit a job without sort of another job lined up. Ever since I was a little, little girl, all I wanted, I, all I knew was I wanted to help people. But, and then practicing as a nurse and a nurse practitioner, I never got that sense of fulfillment. Throughout the six years, I seldom felt the fulfillment I was looking for, the purpose that I was looking for. Much more to help than um than being okay than being not sick health does not equal not sick for me and i think oh this is just like a long long longer conversation about sort of like systems in place for people to be healthy uh, for people to 
have the right food, access to the right food, access to, I don't know, um, facilities or areas for exercise, to encourage exercise over, you know, studying nonstop, etc. Anyway, it was more that I knew wherever I go, I would encounter the same issues. So I never changed jobs because why would I want to go from one job with this with this uh, list of things that I um, didn't agree with or or didn't feel like aligned with my values to go to another job where another job in healthcare as a nurse practitioner whether it was at a hospital or another practice where I knew that I, I would feel exactly the same that I would have the exact same um grievances the more time went on the more i knew like things wouldn't change so it was sort of this a systematic issue of how health is viewed and dealt with in at least the u.s what really i think propelled me to really make the decision was i just could not imagine myself being there longer than I had to. The more I pictured it, the more like, like I don't know, it, like my body, my mind, everything was so resistant to it. There's this voice inside of me that just said like, but you can't stay longer. You can't stay any longer. Um, or just do it, like just do it. Don't know what is beyond that, but just take a leap, take a leap, take a leap. But I think what it has allowed a lot of people to do is evaluate their values and their worth and what time and money is worth to them. I've heard employers complaining like, oh, people don't want to work. People don't want to work anymore. It's like, hello, nobody ever wanted to work. Like, who wants to work that hard? And right now, I think some people are evaluating freedom, ability to control their life um, over other things. Um, money is still valuable. It's a currency. It, it pays the bills. It gives you a roof over your head. But I think what it has allowed a lot of people to do is evaluate their values and their worth and what time and money is worth to them. Sort of a loose plan. And I also have a ton of experience. Like I have six years as a nurse practitioner, like four years as a nurse. Like I feel that if the time comes to it and I have to go back to sort of like that clinical care, clinical work, I will be fine. I won't be happy or excited that I'm back there in sort of a same job with sort of the same gripes that I would have about it, grievances, but I can do it. I can do it so that I can support myself. But for the time being, I'm really just trying to find how to make my own way. I'm a firm believer of when you clear out space, when you get rid of the baggage, the excess, when you make room, something will come in. Whether you make that come in, whether it's an opportunity, but something will fill it. I don't know. And it's so scary. I don't know. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting. If you want to hear more of these stories and topics, like press the like button and leave a comment so that I know maybe something resonated with you or something. I think that's it. Like I'm trying to figure out like why did I quit? I wish I could be like I'm listing all these things but honestly it really feels like it's been like years and years in the making except i wish maybe i had started like some like side hustles or something like that 
so that I could really say like I transitioned to this other this other thing that like will give me income but I am basically taking the leap of fate and maybe slightly free falling um but join me along this journey so, like will Lisa make it will she not make it I don't know like what's going on with her life I don't know either Bye.